Hello, this is David Clark here from DVC, and I want to do a quick video about using LUTs and raw footage in various editing programs. So I've got a Panasonic GH4, and very recently it had an upgrade to let it film in a V-Log format, which is, we sometimes call a raw format. This is where it films the image in a, a sort of lot flatter mode than normal, and it produces a really sort of dull looking image to start off with, but you end up with more details in the highlights and more details in the shadows than you would in normal mode. Generally, you only find this on really expensive cameras. It was on the Panasonic Varicam, and they've just added it into the GH4. So as soon as I got my GH4 upgraded and the sun was shining outside, I rushed outside and filmed the first few things I can see, which you can see here are just some plants and various things around the office here. So no brilliant camera work I'm afraid but it should actually show you what I'm talking about. And here you can see I've got a whole bunch of raw format files, all these very flat ones, and I've got a couple of files here that I've just filmed in normal mode. Now what I want to do is I'm going to compare this shot with the raw equivalent of it. So here on the timeline I've got those two clips. I've got the clip which is filmed with the standard settings of the camera. The camera's got all sorts of different settings inside of it. This is on Cine D, um, and also there's a sort of histogram thing in there where you can change the camera to get a bit more detail in the shadow and a bit more detail in the highlights than normal, and that's how this was filmed. And you can see that's a fairly decent looking shot. It looks pretty normal. And then here we've got the version that was filmed with the V-Log settings, which is a lot flatter. So obviously you've got to do something to that to make it usable. Now I'm inside of Premiere Pro 2015 here. They've got a very nice new way of adjusting color, which you get to by just clicking on the color tab. And it brings up this display and what's called a Lumetri color panel, where you can do all sorts of things. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the basic correction settings. That normally starts closed off. I'm going to double click on it and open it up and you can see here I've got your basic settings. And I'm going to go to this area at the top which says input LUT and apply a LUT to it. Now a LUT is short for lookup table. Basically what's happened is somebody's gone off into a grading program, they've looked at an image like this and then they've worked at all sorts of settings for brightness and contrast and everything else to try and get the best out of it. And then they've saved it as a preset or a lookup table. You can find free ones on the internet, you can find ones you have to pay for, or you can even make your own in a grading program. So for example, if you've got speed grade, you could make a LUT of your own, or you could use DaVinci Resolve to make your own LUT. The point of using a LUT is it's a very easy way to get this into a usable shot. Yeah, without a LUT, you've got to do everything from scratch. With a LUT, you go to a pretty good shot straight away and then you can tweak it. And inside of Premiere 2015, like I said, it's very easy to achieve. All you do is you come up to where it says LUT, click on it, and apply a LUT. You can see I've got a bunch of different LUTs here, which are the ones that come with it. They're all for different cameras, and as you can see, none of them really do much good here. What I'm going to do instead of using one of theirs, I'm going to bring in one that I've actually downloaded. So I'm just going to click on Browse, go to where I saved the LUT, and click on this Cube file. Open it up, and you can see automatically the thing now looks a lot more usable. Now I might want to add a bit more contrast, I might want to tweak it a bit, but it's gone from being completely flat to nice and usable. And if I pop back to the editing mode and compare that, you can see this is the, the raw version with the LUT, and this is the normal version filmed not in the vlog mode. And they're fairly similar. Obviously the contrast is a bit different, colors a bit different. I can tweak all that, you know, I can come into the color settings here and maybe add in a bit more contrast to this maybe bring down the highlights a bit, fiddle with the whites, make the whole thing a little bit brighter, make the blacks a bit darker, add in a bit more colour, maybe open up the colour wheels, make the midtones a bit yellow. Yeah, generally play around to your heart's content. But it started by putting a LUT on there. If you've got an early version of Premiere, like you're using CS6 because maybe you don't want to go onto the Creative Cloud, then you won't be able to apply LUTs, so you'll have to do it from scratch. So rather than using this Lumetri effect, I'm going to go into the list of effects down here, just try something like a fast colour corrector, throw it onto the clip, adjust the levels a bit, so let's make the whole thing a bit darker, maybe bring up the mid-tones, add in a bit of saturation, or you know, use the three-way colour corrector, basically the same you would on any shot, you've just got a little bit more fiddling to do because you're starting off with a very flat image. LUTs are easier, but you don't actually need them. This particular shot is not a very brilliant cinematic shot, but it does actually show you what the difference is really between using a raw format file or a vlog file and a normal file. So here, I've just stuck the two next to each other. This is the original shot filmed with the standard camera settings. This is the shot that's been filmed in vlog with the LUT on it. 
And I think the area of the roof on the house here really shows off the difference between filming in a raw format or a vlog format and normal. I was in an area of shadow filming out into very bright sunlight and you can see the roof here is completely blown out. Whereas the roof here has got detail on it. Now you might say, well, okay, a bit blown out, but surely you can do something to that. You go to the color panel and this time I'm going to take the shot here, which is the one filmed in the normal way and maybe I'm gonna bring down the highlights a bit or bring down the whites a bit and up the shadows and, and fiddle with it to get the detail back in that roof. Well, the truth is you can't, the detail isn't there. The detail is there in the other shot. I can add more contrast into that. I can brighten the whole thing up. I can change the shadows. Just looking at that, there's still detail. Even though I've put a lot of contrast and brightened it up an awful lot, I've still got detail in the roof there, which I don't have in the roof on the normal shot. That's kind of the point of Vlog. You get more out of it. So in Premiere 2015, very easy. Take the clip, throw on a LUT, job done. You can even do it to the clip before you put it onto the timeline. So let's take this particular shot here. You can put effects on clips in the latest versions of Premiere without them going onto the timeline. So here's the clip. I'm just gonna find the Lumetri effect from that, throw it up into the effects window. Now, because I've got a clip in the source, it's showing me the effects on the source. And from that, I can open up the basic correction, choose a LUT, bang. That's now put that effect or that LUT onto that clip. And no matter how many times I use it, that's already on there. So very easy to do inside of Premiere, bring it in, throw on the lot, start editing. Because this is all done with the graphics card, as long as you've got a decent graphics card for your Mercury playback engine, you'll be able to play it back without any problems. This is all 4K footage, this is all UHD footage, which I'm playing back on the computer here. I'm using a, a single processor system, it's a Skylake system, so it's the latest kind of computer. Skylake computer with 16 gig of RAM and a fairly decent graphics card. It's got an NVIDIA 970, but it's still not a system that costs the earth. And there you can see it's quite happily playing back for me some UHD footage with a LUT on it. Again, looking at this shot, it's put a quite nice look on it. Really, I think I'd probably like a bit more contrast. I like my blacks to be a bit blacker. I might want to bring out the shadows a bit. The LUT's a good starting point. You then fiddle with it after that to make it look how you want it to look. But that's how you'd use this kind of footage inside a Premiere.